Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be doing a requested video for part of my Behind the Zoo um, section of this channel. So this is not dog related. So if you are only watching videos on my channel that are dog related, you can skip this one because this one is only about my makeup collection. So I was asked to do this video by a couple of subscribers. And so I said, why not? I will do this and add it to the behind the zoo section of our channel. So let's get started. This is my makeup collection. As I um, told you guys in my question and answer video, I absolutely love makeup. And as you can see, I have accumulated quite a lot of it um, over the years and I figured I would share with you guys. So the first thing that I would like to share with you is this mirror. So I got this mirror about a year to a year and a half ago, and I absolutely love this mirror. It is wonderful, and you just feel so special when you're sitting in front of it, and it makes you feel glamorous, and plus it gives off great, great light, and you know, I have the lights over this mirror, this big plate mirror that I have behind my uh, makeup collection, but it just wasn't the same, and so I invested in this mirror, and I I am so glad and I'm just sorry that I hadn't gotten it a lot sooner. So this mirror is made by Vanity Girl Hollywood and you can find them online. And I do have one light that is uh, burnt out so you can kind of see that um, there. So I will have to definitely change that soon. And on the mirror, and hi guys, I see you guys in the mirror, <laughs> but on the mirror, what I do is I have my brushes, and I know this is excessive, <laughs> But as you can see, I use all of my brushes. So I will kind of go through them a little bit and show you guys what is in here. First of all, these containers here, um, I bought from the container store and then I believe they came as a white. They were white and I just spray painted them silver. And I like how it houses all of my brushes here. These two containers are the brushes that I use all the time. This one container over here is just some extra brushes and I really don't use that those that much. So I'll show you some of the brushes that I use every single day. And they do need to be cleaned, by the way. I usually clean them about once a week, but with everything going on in my personal life, I have not had a chance to clean them. So this is probably two or three weeks worth of makeup on these brushes, so I really need to get to cleaning these. So I'll show you my favorite ones. So. My favorite brush for foundation is this Hakuhodo brush here. It's, I believe it's called the Venetian line, and I love these brushes. I wasn't quite sure if they were going to be worth the money, but I use these, I use this every single day, so it is absolutely worth the money. Um, let's see. And then to put my contour on, I use this smaller Hakuhodo brush here, and they have, whoa, that's all I need to do is break these expensive brushes. <laughs> it's just like my foundation brush, except it is um, like a smaller head here, and it works perfectly for um, contouring because you can see that it's very angled. All of these brushes clean up so nicely. That was one of the things that I was worried about when I bought the brushes and I didn't want to spend, uh, you know, the amount of money that I spent on them if they weren't going to last. And I can tell you that they're worth every single penny because they do wash up really well and the application just makes a huge difference. I really have been loving my brushes and I love the Hakuhodo brushes. The next thing that I have in here is this brush here, and I use this to put on highlighter, and I believe this is a Hakuhodo brush as well, and it just doesn't have the same handle. Yes, I see it here is the name, but it has, this is in their, um, another line. So it's not the Venetian line, it's another line, but this is a Hakuhodo brush. 
Okay, then I have a couple of Tom Ford brushes, and this is what I use to put my blush on with. And these are also one of, you know, a brush that is, you know, kind of a, a luxury brush. So I love my Tom Ford brushes. To put my powder on, I use this big Tom Ford brush here. And it has a nice big head. It is very, very, very soft. And it's just really good for putting, you know, your finishing powder on with. The next brush that I have here is, this is um, a Sigma brush. And I do have quite a lot of Sigma brushes. And I use this brush to go underneath my eyes once I put my highlighter underneath my eyes. So it's different from this brush where I use this one on like highlighting my cheeks, um, but this one I use for actual highlighting. And I like that it has a nice tapered head here, and that's what I use this one for. Um, so those are the brushes, the main brushes that I use in that container there. And I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. I know that this is not the best lighting, uh, but I don't have my, you know, lighting to bring into here. So we're just going to have to make do with this. Okay, so this is, I don't really use this brush. I don't really, really use this brush. Some of these brushes I do not use, but I will go through the ones that I do use. Um, I use this brush all the time. This is a Sigma uh, brush as well, and I use this kind of in the inner corners of my eyes, um, like kind of like by the bridge of my nose. So it has like a nice wedge and it works really good for that area now all of let's see this brush here this is a foundation brush and a lot of times i will use this underneath my eyes as well um, just in case it like if i get some creasing or anything i'll use this brush and it kind of um, smooths things out Sorry about the beeping, guys. I know you're, you're hearing that. That's my door going in and out, in and out. Um, let's see, all of these brushes. So this one, all of these blending brushes here. So these and these here. All of these I use when I am applying my um, eyeshadow and you know I use different brushes for the different colors and I do use them all and you know I just there's different applications that you need to use these different brushes for so I do use them um, but I don't wear eyeshadow every day in fact I don't wear it a whole lot uh, but when I'm going places I do love to put eyeshadow on and um, I will use all of these brushes. And then one brush that I use every single day is this little Tom Ford brush here. And you see it's, I'm trying to get the camera to focus. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It, I'm not sure what this one's called. I think it's a number 15 is what it says on the um, handle. But I use this brush to put my eyeshadow underneath my eyes, like as eyeliner. I use this every single day. So I love this brush. And then I have like another um, eyeliner brush in there. And then these brushes here, like I said, they're just older brushes and I really don't, you know, use those too much. Um, I do have a clock right here, just to keep me on time. And then over here is my Wella Lux Oil that I use for my hair. So I keep that out so that I, you know, cause I'm always using it, using it. I absolutely love this oil. It smells so good and it's very nourishing and moisturizing to your hair. So that is what I have on the mirror. 
The next thing I wanna show you is my storage for my makeup. And I keep everything right here on my vanity in my bathroom. And I love having easy access to everything and everything is right here. Um, you know, I sit right here at this um, section here of my vanity. So everything is within reach and I love it. So the first section here, which is this um, tower here. This is actually the clear cube. I've been having this for at least 10 years, I think. So a long time. Um, and I saw it first on the Kardashians and I will tell you that it is very expensive. Um, and I have found something much cheaper which is this section over here, which is the Muji drawers. And really, they are just as good as the clear cube. And the Muji drawers can be stacked up and you can configure them any kind of way that you want. So, you know, if I would have known about that before, I probably wouldn't have gotten the um, clear cube, but that was all that was available at the time. And like I said, it is probably about 10 years old. So, you know, it is what it is, but I do love it. And, um, you know, it, it's going to last me forever. So that's for sure. All right. On the top, this is kind of really messy, <laughs> but this I'll, sh I'll go through what I have on the top here. So this little container I got from save on crafts, and it's just a little glass container that I use as my little trash can. So when I am using like my little gauze pads or anything that, you know, there's always stuff that you need to throw away. I just dump it into here and then a couple couple of times a week I will have to empty that out because it does get full. Back here is where I keep Stassi snoods. So this is um, a couple of our snoods that she has. I do feed her right here in my bathroom so that is why I have her snoods um, right here where I can reach them. So you see this is dog related. <laughs> All right, in the back here, I have some of my favorite lotions. One of my very favorite lotions is the Blissful Body. You can get this on Etsy and you know, all of this stuff, a lot of this stuff, I have seen from one of my favorite YouTubers who is Jacqueline Hill. And Jacqueline loved this Blissful Body, so of course I had to try it. And I am now probably on my fourth jar of this. So I use this pretty much every night. And it is the Lemon Buttercream, and oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's the best body butter I have ever used. And then I have some Bath & Body body, um, body creams, and I have my glasses, so this is my glasses. I take my contacts out every night, and I have my um, glasses in there. I have one bottle of perfume here, but the rest of my perfume I keep in my closet. But this is kind of my signature scent, and it is Knowing by Estee Lauder. So I just keep this bottle up here because, um, you know, all my rest, all of the rest are in my closet but I like to keep at least one bottle within easy reach. This is my Chill Makeup Setting Spray by Urban Decay, and I put this on, I spray this on every um, time after I do my makeup to set my makeup, and it works really, really good. This is just a hair tie. So I keep this here because when I take my bath at night, um, I put my hair up, and so I just stick this on there. And then I have a couple of eye drops. I do wear, um, I do wear contacts, so I have some allergy, you know, refresh drops here. And then in this bottle, I also have um, eye drops. I put it in this bottle so that it's an eye dropper um, instead of like just dumping the the regular. I don't know. It came in a big bottle, so I had these bottles, so I just stuck it in there. This is just a bottle of nose spray Flonase for whenever I get stopped up. I, you know, have that there. And then I have a couple of bottles of essential oils uh, that I do use. I love my essential oils, so I keep those there. And then we're gonna go on to the drawers. So, 
And I did not go through any of these before I filmed this video, so it is what it is, and it's kind of a mess in there, but we're keeping it real. So in the first drawer, and they're kind of dirty too, it needs to be cleaned, but oh well. All right, so in the first drawer is basically all of my foundations and my primers. So the foundation that I use is Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. I am a number five, and this, I just buy these, you know, over and over and over again. It's the best foundation that I have used. I absolutely love this, and it is definitely my foundation of choice. I use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, and this goes on my eyelids and underneath my eyes every single day. I do not um, go without this. I love this. I believe this is the Light Warm is the shade that I am in. I apply that concealer with a beauty blender, and as you can see, it's well used. I probably need a new one. <laughs> And then I have a couple of primers that I use all the time. So I always um, do my skincare before I put my foundation on, and then I use a primer. Um, this primer is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. So as you can see, you know, I'm almost out of this one. I love it. It's very refreshing, and I do feel that, you know, it if you have dry skin it really moistens your skin without making you greasy and it helps to keep your makeup on longer this is another foundation that i tried because of course jacqueline tried it so i had to have it too i'm not really crazy about it it's not really my shade it's a little bit too dark but i keep it because when i um, get really tan in the summertime i can use this but right now it's a little bit too dark and this is the elsie micro sleek foundation it's a good foundation it's just not the right shade for me and i like my luminous silk better and then these are two primers that I use a lot. And when I, and I don't use the Smashbox water and this, so I'll use either or. So when I feel like using these, um, I will use these. And I kind of switch back and forth and, you know, every other day or something. And I really, really love these two products. This is by Makeup Forever. And this is their Radiant Primer. So I put this on underneath my foundation and I will use this first. And then in the areas that I want to look a little more smooth, like my nose, um, the, my cheekbones, like underneath my eyes, I will use the smoothing primer. And this really, really works. I mean, as soon as you put it on, it's a cream. And as soon as you put it on, it's almost like it fills in your pores and just makes your face very, very smooth. So these two are by Makeup Forever. Then I have a couple of other primers, like radiant primers. This is the Celestial Skin Liquid Light, um, Lightening by Kevin Oquan. So I like this, and I've used quite a bit of this. And then I don't use this anymore. And then the one thing I use sometimes, not a whole lot, which is the reason why it's way back there, is this Tatcha luminous dewy skin mist so sometimes i will use this but i will be honest and say that i really don't use a whole lot of this but i have it i like it i just don't use it a whole lot this is mac fix plus and it's also a primer and but i really to be honest with you i don't really use that too much but i do have it i'm just going to go through the main things that i use in these drawers Okay, this drawer houses all of my bronzers and my contour powders and my highlighting powders. So, I will show you the ones that I use all of the time. And the first one is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. And this is a cream bronzer and it is wonderful. And I wish that I can, you know, open these things up, but I can't do it with, um, I don't have this on a tripod, so I can't do it um, with one hand and hold the camera at the same time. But this is a great bronzer. 
um, are actually a contour powder. This is a great contour, not powder, it's a cream, but it's great for contouring. I really, really, really love this um, for contouring. I do contour my face every day. And then the one that I use all the time, I think is in this drawer. Let me get to it. Okay. I don't know how that wound up in that drawer this morning, but this is the one that I use most days. And this is by Too Faced. And this is the Chocolate Soleil um, Medium. Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. So you can use this as a bronzer, but I use it as a contour and I love this. So I will usually use between the Too Faced or the Chanel cream one. I go back and forth, but these are the two that are like my ride or dies. I use these every single day. And then I have a couple of other palettes um, by Anastasia. I have the Contour Cream palette. I hardly ever use this. Then I have the Anastasia um, it's the same palette actually, but it's the powders and I really hardly ever use that. And then let's see what else I have in here. This is, oh, I wish I could open this with one here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So this one is the Audrey and this is by Gerard Cosmetics, and this is a highlighter. And I've used this a few times. I have quite a few different little highlighters, and you know, I like using different ones. My favorite one at the moment is Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop, which this might be it. I'm not sure. I need to put my camera. Okay. No, this is not Champagne Pop, but I use, this is another um, highlighting powder by Becca. I love their highlighters, I guess, the best. Um, and then I have a highlighter in here that I do use by Kevin Aquan. And this is the Starlight Highlighter. So I will show you kind of what that one looks like. So I use that one, but right now my um, highlighter of choice is Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop made by Becca. She collaborated with Becca to make that one. And this is where this one is because I use it all the time. And that is what this looks like. You can see it's a real pretty gold color. And it doesn't even look like it's used, but I use this all the time. This stuff lasts so long. Okay, then I have a bunch of Z palettes, and the Z palettes are, um, where did I get these from? Makeup Geek. So I get all of my Z palettes from Makeup Geek, and I like to get the little pans, the little refillable pans, and these are just some assorted blushes that I use pretty much you know on a daily basis i'll pick one of these colors and these are different they're different brands some of these are makeup geek some of them are mac um these are mac i had to put like a little name uh, a little magnet underneath these because it didn't come with the little magnet these z palettes are nice because it's like magnetic so they stick to that and then these back here are, let's see, who makes these? Honeymoon, I'm not sure. I can't remember who makes these. I don't know if these are, I think these are Makeup Geek. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're Makeup Geek. Rendezvous, Honeymoon, these are Makeup Geek. And, um, I like, you know, having the blushes that I mainly use in this palette because it's nice and easy. I have this smaller palette here. This is also another uh, Z palette. And I will show you the two highlighters that I use underneath my eyes every day. As you can see, I am hitting pan on both of those 
The bottom left is the banana powder by Anastasia. And the top one is my MAC highlighter that you can only get at the Pro Store and I cannot remember the name of it. Um, but if you look at Jaclyn Hill's highlighting videos, she uses it all the time. And I use both of these just like Jaclyn. I'm a little Jaclyn fan and I do what she does. <laughs> because she is an awesome makeup artist and I have learned so much from her. So watch her videos because if you haven't already, if you're looking at this video and you like makeup, I'm sure you know who Jaclyn Hill is because she is the bomb.com. All right. And then back here are just some uh, various blushes from Becca that I have, but to be honest with you, I don't really use those too much because everything, every color range that I use is usually right here in this palette. All right, this next drawer is, I think just some extras. I really don't use anything in this drawer. Um, I have a MAC lipstick, some uh, MAC lip liners, don't really use anything in here. Nope, not anything in there. Next drawer that I use all the time is this is for my eyes. And I will show you what I have. My brow pencil that I use is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And I use the shade Dark Brown. So use this every day. And then oh, when I'm finished filling in my brows, I will use the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia as well. So this stuff is like super glue. You put your brows on, you put this on, and you're good to go. All right. My mascara of choice is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. And I love this. And I do have eyelash extensions and I, you know, I use this just on the tips. Um, girls, I am high maintenance. I hate to say it, but I am. The older I get, the more high maintenance I get. And I'm not apologizing. Nope, I'm not. Okay, let's move on. And let's see, what else do I use in here all the time? Um, some of this stuff, you know, you know how that is. You buy stuff, you don't hardly use it, but um, some of this stuff I use every single day. And the other thing that I use every day is my black eyeliner and I need a new one because this one is getting mighty short. And this one is the Ardency N Black Eyeliner. This stuff is really, really good. I also do use the MAC Gel Liner, which is this. And, you know, but when I'm quick and I'm, I'm in a hurry, this little pencil does just as good. But if I am doing a winged liner on the top, then I definitely use my MAC um, gel liner. Now, Jacqueline likes this Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner, but I really don't care for it. I bought it. Eh, I don't really care for it that much. And then I have a couple of... Um, pencil sharpeners in here and then some eye sticks by NYX I hardly use those and then these are some extra products so I have an extra oh look here we go this is an extra Ardency N black eyeliner so good I don't have to go buy that um, and then I don't even know what this is this is an extra Extended Play Gigabat Black Lash. I got that from MAC at Dillard's. And then an extra Naked Skin um, Concealer. And then back there is old, old, old Mary Kay. Mm -mm -mm. Don't use that anymore. I need to give that away. Uh, but of course it's so old. I guess nobody would really want that. Okay, let's move on. All right, so that's everything that is in my clear cube. The next section here is my Muji drawers. And at the top here are some lipsticks. These are by Gerard Cosmetics. These purple ones are Lime Crime and all of these black ones are MAC. So several different colors here. Then I have all of my liquid lipsticks and my glosses. So these are Anastasia liquid lipsticks here. This is, let's see, this one, and I have a few others. This is Chanel, and I have like a gold one and this pink one, and I bought this because Lisa Vanderpump uses this, and I love Lisa Vanderpump. 
So I want to be like her. <laughs> but I love it. Um, so let's see. These are liquid lipsticks. And then some more glosses here. And I believe these are by Sigma. Yes. So these are just, oops, these are like colored glosses. You can use them as, I use them as lipstick. All right, so that is in that drawer. And then in this drawer, oh, this is the other um, Chanel. Oh, it's, a, it's the same one. I have another one, it's like a gold color. Um, so these are the MAC Lip Glass. And then I love these. This is by Marc Jacobs. And if you are looking for a gloss um, that has color to it, so you can wear this alone, it is so shiny and glossy. I love my Marc Jacobs. And I don't know why this was in here by itself because I have a couple of these. But um, try these out if you're looking for a really good gloss because I love them. Next section here, as you can see, I like lip products. Uh, these are Gerard Cosmetics. I will tell you that these, um, this is like lip glosses, but I will tell you that these containers leak, so that really sucks, um, but you know, I love them, so I put up with it, and when I take it out, I have to wipe it off because they do leak, ugh. Um, so these are all lippy sticks. So these are by ColourPop and these are very, very inexpensive. They're only like $5 a piece. So I have a bunch of lippy sticks and they're really pigmented and they, you know, they really last. And this is just some extra lippy sticks that I have still in the um, boxes because these are probably colors like Bound that I use all the time and I absolutely love. Now these two, um, Lipsticks here are by the House of Somebody, House of House of Doll, I think, House of Doll, and I have two of her colors, and I love these lipsticks. I'm not a fan of how they smell. To me, they kind of smell kind of oldish, but I do love the colors. I have like a nude color and a pink color, and I really, really like that. However, these are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite lipsticks. And this is the Yves Saint Laurent. I think I'm saying that right. And these bad boys are expensive, but oh my God, they last, they're moisturizing, and I am quite hooked. And I love these lipsticks, they're my favorites. All right, and then we have the eyeshadows. So this is by Kathleen Light. Um, this is a palette by her. I have a couple of MAC. This is an Anastasia Lavish palette. I'm not gonna go through all of those. Um, here is another, here's my other Marc Jacobs. So Marc Jacobs, wonderful lip gloss, lip color, whatever you want to call it. And this is my other Chanel one. Here we go. So you see it's kind of like a gold color. And a lot of times I'll put this over the pink. And I love it. This is just an extra Z palette. Don't have anything in that one yet. Then we have my Naked collection here. So Naked 1, Naked 2, these are eye shadows. I know you guys know what these are. These are by Urban Decay. And to be honest with you, I rarely use them. Um, I used to use them a lot, but I have been on a makeup geek um, kick for the past probably year. And that's usually what I use when I turn to eyeshadows. Um, this is a Morphe palette. So this was, I believe, the Jaclyn Hill palette. Well, it is, not I believe, but that is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So, and I've used, a f I've used that a few times. You know, eyeshadows are one of those things that will last you forever. I told myself that I am not buying any more eyeshadows. That's it, I have enough. I have more than enough than I'll ever, ever use, so I just need to overlook when she, oh, this is an empty Z palette. When she uses stuff, I just, you know, overlook it because I have too many. 
All right, so these are Z palettes as well, and most of these are either this palette, I believe, is Anastasia, but the rest are Makeup Geek, so, or either this is Makeup Geek. I think this one's Makeup Geek, and that one might be Anastasia in the drawer. And then, down at the bottom, this is the one I use all the time. This is Makeup Geek, and these are just my colors. You know, purples and um, neutral colors. I absolutely love these. I put all my favorites in here. And this one and that one back there are Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Very highly pigmented, very cheap, not expensive at all. Um, so that makes it great to be able to get every color under the sun. Right, girls? All right, so that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and I will try to answer as much as I can. And thank you for watching this video on Behind the Zoo, which is me. <laughs> Bye, guys.